Hello, today in this class we are going to discuss about fourth generation. So 4G, let's talk about the aim. 4G has an aim that 4G will provide 1 gigabit per second for stationary users and 100 Mbps for high mobility users. Uh, I can say that this is a target for 4G. Now, also they want to reduce complexity of network. Now, what about the complexity of the network? Let's talk about 2G. Here, we will talk about data. Because main aim is high mobility and high data rates. So, if we talk about, we have mobile station in 2G. This is connected to BTS. Then we have BSC. After that, we have SGSN. We have GGSN. And here we have external network. That means, if I have the data, so I, I require to access the data, I have to pass through all of these entities. Now, I will compare this with 3G. 3G has user equipment. This is attached to node B. Then we have RNC radio network controller. Then we have 3G SGSN. We have GGSN. And again, we have external network. Again, talk about the number of the nodes, GGSN, SGSN, RNC, node B and user equipment. If we talk about the total number of nodes, so total number of nodes are same. That means in 4G, now we want something new. That means we want to reduce the total complexity of the network because we have a major aim of high mobility. So if we have a, a aim of high mobility, that means we require to short down this path. And also with high data rate, that means using optical fibers which support huge data rates. So after 3G, 3G BP has many releases. And last we have 4G and 4G which has provided us 1 gigabit per second for stationary users and 100 Mbps. Now let's talk about its architecture description that now the very first as user equipment. So if you want huge data rate, if you want huge high mobility, that means this UE also requires to be upgraded. So here we have EUE, we call it as EUE, where E is evolved user equipment. Now, this evolved user equipment is like it supports multiple technologies, huge data rate, able to process huge data rate and high mobility. So, that means UE has also evolved. So, if we talk about the core network, like radio network. So, we have UTRAN part of 3G, which is the Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network. Here, we call it EUT run because this is also evolved. Evolved UT run universal terrestrial radio access network. So this EUE will be attached with the help of air interface we call as user to user interface, UU interface with the help of air interface to UT run part, EUT run part. Now here in this part we don't have any RNC attached that means we have removed RNC we have only E node B, evolved. Again, E stands for evolved. So here, if we talk about like we have E user equipment, it will attach to E node B, which is in the radio part, and it is attached to the core network, core network to the external network. That means all the functionality of the radio network controller is now with the E node B, and it is more smarter as compared to node B as well as BSC because it is now if we talk about 
this as a core network. So core network we will form here a data of data only. So we call it as EPC. EPC as evolved packet core because we have evolved a new core network in 4G. We are not going to use the 2G core or 3G core. We are evolving a new core which is completely IP based. Because this 4G is IP based technology. And this core is attached to the external network. So in basic 4G architecture, we have EUE, we have RAN part and EPC, which we require in each and every network architecture. If we talk about the entities, so we have MME, we have HSS, Serving Gateway, we have PDN Gateway. Because this external network is public data network period. MME mobility management equipment. Then we have HSS home subscriber server. SGW serving gateway PGW as PDN gateway and PDN as public data network. So in network architecture, we have this user databases and this is for signaling. So this is the network. Now E node B is attached to MME as well as serving gateway. So this is about architecture description of 4G. We will continue with this class in our next class. Thank you so much.